Okay, so, oh god no, I'm just going to quickly sort this out. Okay, so now I'm slightly more presentable, well, in some cases. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing today is you're going to be following a full day of eating again. However, this time we've slightly switched it up and we basically removed carbs from my diet. So I'm down to about 55 grams for the whole day, if I am correct. However, I'll keep the calories, macros and everything like that for each of my meals up here. Uh, just to keep a running total as we're going. Basically, the idea behind that is to deplete glycogen, which will help one of my videos in the long run, but then to also make sure that your body's starting to use fat rather than carbs to burn energy. So what's happened so far is I've gone on a morning run, fasted cardio, uh, did about half an hour, then came back, showered, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've got work nine till one, and then straight after that, I will be doing my leg workout and then coming home and carrying on with my meals, going for the dog walk and so on and so forth. But because of low carbs, my energy is zapped, so this should be an interesting video. So let's go and see what meal one is to start with. So meal one, all the macros and calories and everything like that will be up here now. Very simple thing to start off the day, don't need much and I'd rather save more of my calories for later on in the day when I'm definitely going to be a bit hungry and not really doing as much. So yeah, starting off the day with a smoothie and then obviously the daily vitamins and the cod liver oil like I showed in the last one. And yeah, so then I'll be walking off to work obviously to get me steps up, being at work for three hours, then going to training, then I'll be walking back. So. Hopefully I'll catch you around then after my leg workout and then I will show you the next meal of the day. So I've just got back from the gym so I'm going to make my first workout meal now or technically like my first main meal of the day um, and it's going to consist of three eggs with a bit of spinach mixed in, four of these turkey rashers and then about 75 grams of this ham. So let's see what it looks like. And just like that we have our first technically meal of the day. So I've just got the eggs over there with the spinach, ham, and then the turkey rashes, and I put the ketchup on top. Ketchup on top is only the 50% salt and sugar one, so it's a bit better for you. Um, so I'm going to get into this and chill out, and then start editing this a little bit, and just chill out before the dog walk, really. So yeah, that is meal number one, and the calories and macros will be somewhere around here on the screen. And yeah, let's enjoy. And there we go, so there is my first meal done for the day and it was really nice, I'm so glad I ate then because I was getting extremely hungry at that point. But yeah, so we'll carry on with the rest of the day and I will catch you up when we're on our next meal, which will probably be after the dog walk I think, because I'm hoping I can push through for now and not get too hungry. And let's move on to the next meal of the day. Okay, so we are back with our next meal. I've just been out on a walk and I was probably out for about 45 minutes now. And basically I went on a walk a bit earlier than my mum and the dog because I was getting really hungry and just quite lethargic and everything like that. So I just wanted to do something to actually switch it up a bit. So now I've actually come back and I have made my next meal. So let me show you that. So we have got in here, we've got 150 grams of yogurt, about 35 grams of whey protein, and then a tiny amount of granola, 35 grams. And then I've also got a glass of Coke just to fill me up a little bit more with like the gas and everything like that to make me feel a bit fuller once I've finished this meal. So around about here will be where the macros and calories are for this meal. And I'm going to dig in and just enjoy it. And then I will probably catch you at the next meal, which will be my actual dinner. So goodbye. Okay, so meal three is now ready to go. We have got a big bowl of just lettuce, cheese, some avocado in there, salsa, chicken, and some ham to get my protein up. Uh, I'm going to put the macros on the screen around about here uh, as to everything to do with it and the calories and everything like that. And as you can see so far, it's been a bit limited and it stays that way for now. I'm going to try and enjoy this and sort of get on with it and just chill out, watch a film, something like that, just to, yeah, just put up with what's going on. Okay, so we are on to our final meal of the day. It is half past seven, roughly. Um, I'm still not like eating after eight as I think it just helps with my weigh-ins and things like that. So the final thing I'll be having is a Mossa Roth 85% cocoa chocolate slab. 
from Aldi, and then one of the protein light bars, which I got the other day in one of the other videos. And that'll bring the total macros for those ones over there. And then I'm pretty sure that'll be it. So I'll do an outro once I've had those. Okay, so my light in here is very orange, hence the look. It's not a really lucky tan that I've got in like the past 20 minutes, but sadly, we are now finishing the video as a full day of eating. So I will put up on the screen here my total for the whole day, calories, macros, and everything like that. So that'll be up over there. As you can see, it's a lot lower than normal and it has been a struggle and I am very tired and just, yeah, it's been a long day. Up since seven, two lots of training. I've also managed to hit 11,400 steps. So on top of that, just to add to my calories like out for the whole day. So it has been a very tiring and a very long day. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing the low carb but if you know that you can stick to your diet for a while and you want to really go for your training because you've got something coming up or something like that it may be a good way for people to finally lose a bit more weight last week after the uh, one of the videos i filmed i got stuck at the same weight for a little while and i did low carb one day and it just shot it down a little bit and it's just one of those ones where it's just a nice feeling as well so i'm going to be doing this diet for another two days so thursday and friday I will then be upping my carbs on Saturday and lowering them, lowering my fat on Sunday, just no, on, on Saturday. So just to even it all out. And then Sunday we'll be back down, back around 100 grams of carbs. Monday will be about the same. And then we'll go from there on the next day because that'll be a good, good day coming ahead. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you could please give it a thumbs up, that would mean the world to me. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe because, well, why not? We're on a roll now, we've got multiple videos out and we're just gonna keep going with it. Hopefully you guys have had a great day and have a good day when you're watching it. Goodbye.